Welcome to the latest Watercolors Aquarium Gallery video brought to you from the Aquarium Work Studios in downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's one of our favorite kind of videos. It's an unboxing. Ooh. Amy, let's see how you did. Uh, not Amy, but yeah, let's go. Where we start? Whatever, Amy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Amy did another one of these without telling us what she did, so uh, they better be good. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I would agree, but yeah, not Amy. Go on. Anyway, <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Oh, cool. Like, I need my glasses for these because the writing is very small. This is an L200 Green Phantom Pleco. Those oh. are awesome. Very cool. There's another one. Good job on those, Amy. They get a nice Thanks. actual green to them, too. Yeah, they do. Uh, Parachyrodon similis. These are great. This is one of the three Parachyrodon species with Cardinal Tetris and Neon Tetris. Very cool. We get some requests for those. They're kind of smaller than the rest of them. Yeah, they're good ones. Cool. And of course, classic Neon Tetris. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with those. Scarlet Baddus. Nice job, Amy. Those are cool. Still not Amy, but yeah, these are awesome. Those are I'll take the credit for it. Kind of like a, a miniature cichlid, or a miniature pisto. Awesome. We'll get some requests for those. Odessa Barbs. These are for you, Charles. They look good. Good size on those guys. You have a soft spot for the Odessas. Ah, look at the little coolie loaches. Oh the zipper coolies. Those are cool. Teeny. You've got an abundance of zippers now. I have been asked a couple times if the zipper refers to their speed, and I'm, I genuinely, my answer is I don't think so. Because if you look at their striking pattern, it does look like like one side of the zipper. I agree, yeah. I think it's the it's the pattern. I think it works both ways, though. Yeah, and Amy, you've got all three species of Parachyrodon. Yeah, I, I, I'm not Amy, but yeah. <laughs> Very cool. I don't know why you keep saying that. Weird. Anyway. Uh, uh, redhead Tapajos. It's not Tapajos. This is Geopagus <laughs> species Tapajos, the Redhead Tapajos, which is one of the really cool Earth eaters. Nice job on those guys. That is uh, exactly how I'm going to pronounce them wrong every time. This is Tapajos? Yeah, yeah Tapajos. Nothobronchius fuscutaneus. You know us and our nothos around here. And he always likes to do a good job of keeping Charles happy on those. I sure do. So as far as nothos go, uh, they usually have some pretty brilliant reds. Uh, this species is pretty notable to me because they get blues instead. Um, it's been a while, a couple months since we've had a pair of these, and they didn't stick around very long. <laughs> They're awesome fish. Gorgeous. Yeah, awesome fish. Good standard. Romeo's Tetras. You gotta have Romeo's. Yep. Great Always fish. Keep them in stock. We never have enough of these. Never do. <laughs> Can't get enough. All right. So far, Amy, you do pretty well. Let's see, how you, let's see if you keep, you keep it up. Thanks, I'm Nick, but I'll take, I'll take the credit again. What do we have here? Otto's, perfect. <laughs> Peanut gallery's gotta be here. Can't, cannot have too many Otto's. They're really fun for me to catch. <laughs> oh, this is the proto -chirodon. These Whoa, are okay. the crystal Teslas. Look at those fish. That's a new one to me. Aren't those incredible? Wow. Yeah, those are that's awesome. an amazing looking tetra. Nice that's job on those, Amy. Thanks. Leopard eel cat. What? These are cool. Oh yeah, these look like dojo loaches, but they're a catfish, so they're not dojo loaches. I don't know who ordered all these fish, but it sure wasn't me. Um, Amy orders fish. I don't know what she's doing now. Oh, they do look a lot like dojo loaches. Don't they? Yeah, it's almost funky. It's freaky. Yeah. How big will those get? Not a whole lot bigger than that. So not quite as big as a, dolo, a dojo loach, um, but they're also not illegal in Michigan like dojo loaches are. Paleotis Cory's, good standard Cory cat like those. Great for summer tough pounding, by the way. Speaking of stuff we can't get enough of, Aurorus brigitte, the chili resboros. Oh yeah. Fantastic nano fish. And good blue oh, shrimp. Gosh. We cannot keep blue shrimp in stock. We've got 25 of them in the bag here. If you want blue shrimp, you need to come down and get them soon because we get as many as we can and they go fast. Like today. Like today. These guys are teeny. Ooh, exclamation point. So this is Bororos Bororos Europhimoides, the exclamation point rasbora. Closely related to Bridgetae or the chili rasbora. It's just a little bit different paint job. 
they're gonna end up when they color up a little bit more orange. It's even harder to tell when they're not showing their colors, you know? Yeah. The difference is not as obvious. Yeah, very cool fish. Um, Orisius wow ray, the Suolosi cardinal lampi or daisy rice fish. They have all kinds of names. These are an African killifish that act a little bit more like a uh, kerosene. So more, a little more tetra-like. I, I'm gonna be honest, I managed to peek at the sheet. Yeah. All of those common names were included on the yeah. list. Yeah. 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 Right. Like, really? Yeah. Interestingly enough, they are in the same family as guppies. They're a facilia, but they're a killie and an egg layer. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Mystery snails, it's a mystery which color that's supposed to be. Yeah, sort it. So far, Amy, you're doing pretty well. I'm not complaining. Still not Amy, but whatever. I want to try this one. You should take credit for recruiting. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> in the tank. Nice job. I see some squirmy wormies. A whole bunch of them. Oh. Rope fish. Cool. I have not seen these around in a long time. We got a request for those, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. These and are related to the genus Polyptris, which includes the Bashirs. Yeah, actually, I did not realize these were a type of like of Bashir because Bashir yeah. is bigger than like the genus level. Yeah. And uh, wow, I can I'm terrible with names, but the guy who made this request, he came in here and he was just like, "It's a type of Bashir," and I was like, "Oh, wow, they're what?" Like, sort of. I wouldn't say they're a type of Bashir, honestly. The well, we Bashirs... looked at the taxonomy; they're in the like same family. Yeah. So it's like the family is at the huh. shear level. There's the ropes and the shears. Ah, uh, maybe that's. Yeah. All right. Uh, but they're very closely related. Yeah. <laughs> cool. yeah. Longer, skinnier, and they don't have the rear set of fins that look like feet. Yeah. Very. You cool. have some some dorsal spines that are really similar to the. Yes. Shears. They're very close for sure. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Urethra microns, emerald dwarf resboras. This is a staple around here. We do so well with these fish. They're amazing. Cool. My box is full, so you're gonna have to go oh. that way now. We can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Next, Beckford's pencils. Pencils are just an underrated fish that are amazing. They are. They are the perfect dither fish for pistos. Uh, lots of different varieties, just very cool fish. Oh, these are fun. Okay, we're gonna take a minute to talk about these guys. This is the soda cichlid. They are a dwarf cichlid from Africa. Their temperature range goes up to 105 degrees. They're best kept around 100. And then the pH, they come from really high pH streams where the pH can get up to 9.5. Crazy that anything can survive there, but amazing little unique dwarf cichlids. And they're gorgeous. They kind of look Episto-esque. Huh. So what you're saying is we have to prep a tank for these guys ASAP. Well, yeah, you know, like yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I'll get yeah. right on that. All right, sounds good. Wait, do you um, want me to do no, that or do you want Amy to do that? You're, you're really confusing me. <laughs> Amy, get Nick to do it, would you? I would love to. I mean, that's what he's here for. Yeah. And then, okay, so grandma, Agassizi, Tefe Red. Those are cool. Those are definitely for a customer. Yep. Yeah, those, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I like the epistles. Those are for me. What do we got here? The Fiso Brycon Pulchra Pinus Lemon Tetras. Absolutely gorgeous little yellow tetras. Definitely an underappreciated tetra. Yeah, for sure. And then up, oh, blind cave tetras. These are kind of hard to pass off. They're just such a unique anomaly fish. They are uh, essentially colorless because they live in caves and they are blind. And watching them swim around an aquarium, you can't tell they're blind. They behave just as though they have eyes. I saw these highlighted in, it was uh, one of the AGA biotope winners. Nice. Wasn't that this last year? I think that's correct. Very cool. I have not seen them in person yet. So yeah, they are very guided cool. by a, they have a, all fish have a lateral line, but the lateral line of the flying cave captain is a little bit more sensitive. Basically, so, they use the force. Basically, yeah, that's possible. <laughs> How you guys so, doing? And last but not least, Amy, so far you've done pretty well. This uh, is, you know, I'm not even gonna bother anymore, go ahead. <laughs> this is the Siamese algae, I don't know what he's, she's not bothering us, but anyway. Um, Siamese algae eater. These guys are tank rays. What do you think, Charles? Great example of a fish that eats algae, but not a great example of a fish that will feed your tank. That's the aquarium's job. <laughs> oh, well said, Charles. Thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is your job. Come on, Amy. 
So we got tons of new fish. Come down and check us out. If you saw something you like, you got to get here quick because fish move fast. Uh, make sure you check out our other videos here on YouTube, other unboxings. You can find us on Facebook and you can check out our podcasts. Uh, what else do we need to plug? Amy, I think you covered it. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Let's have lots of fun and keep those hands wet. Thanks, guys. <laughs>